Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a recognition sequence and cleavage pattern for the restriction enzyme BAM H1 is shown below. Although the enzyme cleaves both strands of the double-stranded DNA, BAM H1 is said by convention to make one cut in the double-stranded recognition sequence. Predict the number of cuts and the number of fragments produced if the DNA sequence shown below is presented as substrate for BAM H1 digestion. First of all, let's talk about this recognition site for restriction enzyme. Here is a sequence which we call palindromic sequence. What is a palindromic sequence? Take a look. 5 prime end here. Let's also add another 3 prime end here. And we are also going to have 3 prime end here. So 5 prime end GG ATCC. And here, if we read in this direction, so let me also add direction. So this direction and another strand of the DNA, we also read from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So we are going to have the same sequence GG, just like here, AT, just like here, and CC, just like here, and 3 prime end. So this is what we call in genetics palindromic sequence, not the sequence which we uh, read the same uh, way forward and backward on the same strand of the DNA, but sequence which we read from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and the same sequence on the other strand of the DNA, which also be read from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. Let me show you now sequence which is not palindromic, for example, 5 prom and C, C, T, T, C, C. So some of you may think that this is going to be palindromic sequence. So 3 prom and here, because we can read forward and backward the same way. But actually, if we'll build second strand of the double stranded DNA, we are going to get 5 prom and here, G, G, A, A. G, G, 3 prime and here. And as you see, this is not going to be the same sequence as here. 5 prime and CC, TT, CC. Here we have 5 prime and GG, AA, GG, 3 prime and. So this is not palindromic sequence. And because we have here palindromic sequence, if we'll find such sequence on one strand of the DNA, we instantly know that we also have found the same sequence on the other strand of the DNA. So we don't have to check both strands of the DNA. If we'll find one sequence on one strand of the DNA or two or three, that means we are going to find the same one, two or three sequences on the other strand of the DNA. So also let me add three prime end here and five prime end here. So now let's check this sequence, which is on the top. We have here sequence 5 prime and GG. Let me search for these two letters first. So let's check GA, CG, CG, GG, and then AT. And here we have GG, TG. So this is not the sequence what we are looking for. So here is sequence GG. AT and CC, exactly what we see here. So let me highlight it, GG, AT and CC. And on the other strand of the DNA, take a look, we have the same sequence, five prime and here, three prime and here. And the sequence is the same, GG, AT, CC. And the sequence is going to be cut between two Gs here and two Gs here. So this is going to be one recognition site for restriction enzyme. And let's check if we have one more site here. So we are looking for GG and AT. GG, AA, T. This is not the same sequence. So let's look here. GG, CC, also different sequence. GG, TT, also different sequence. So we have only one such sequence here and when restriction enzyme is going to cut each strand, we are going to get one, two fragments. 
We don't have to check the other strand of the DNA for the same sequence because our restriction enzyme cut the sequence which is palindromic. If the sequence wouldn't be palindromic, sometimes it also can be a case, then we have to check another strand of the DNA for the sequence, but not in our case. Now we can choose the correct answer, which is going to be answer C. We have one restriction enzyme recognition site and we are going to get two fragments. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.